Welcome to Cabot Lynx in Novia Scotia, Canada. We took a hell of a long journey to get here. You fly into Halifax. From Halifax, it's a three and a half hour drive to Cabot Cliffs. The wind here is a tremendous factor. I've played lots of Lynx golf courses and had day after day of very little wind. Um, sometimes they're left almost defenseless. Um, I love Bandon Dunes, but I can say that honestly, the wind here is far more crazy and hectic than that. Depending on what club you're hitting and what hole you're playing, sometimes it honestly feels like five or six clubs that you're hitting. Um, you're just going up into the sky and the ball's coming straight down. And as an 11 handicap, I find it far more challenging. You'll normally find when you're playing golf courses like this, that if you're playing with a good golfer, he's going to beat you by far more shots than he is on a normal still day. So I think it's really a good place to go for top golfers. I think they will find that they're going to beat their um, weaker handicap friends much more easily here than on a still day in a park lens course. I think specifically on a Lynx golf course the wind really affects balls that are flighted high, flighted left or right. So you have to be in control of your ball flight. If you hit a cut it will be exaggerated in the wind and I think today on the Lynx I saw it often that higher handicap guys could not control their ball flight and they cannot control the direction that the ball goes in. So if you really want to have a premium on your ball flight and your direction, come and play Lynx Golf. That's where that really enhances the guy that actually can control his ball flight. We're at the sixth hole on Cabot Cliffs. Short par three, the tees forward. Edwin says he's hitting his gap wedge, 120 yards. The seventh hole at Cabot Cliffs, Edwin's about to play his third shot into the par five. Nice big cavernous bunker right in front of that flag. Great divot, gone a little bit left but I think that's on the green. Yeah, can't be unhappy, 12, 15 feet from there. What do you, when you say your short gap wedge, what? I've got two. Okay. So my pitching wedge got 140, so I yeah. need, this one goes 110. So mm. I needed another one, so I bent that to okay. 48. So this is 48, and that is? Uh, 52. The par 3 is 16th. The flag's a little bit left today. Still very beautiful. The afternoon sun now, after 7 o'clock. 17th hole at Cabot Cliffs, par 4. Don't need a driver here, and you can still end up on the green. My impression was that the links that we played today was a less manicured course and I think maybe also some of the holes are not as impressive. I think uh, that's what I picked up on a lot of other golf courses along the seaside is that the holes that's inland are not impressive. What really struck me on the cliffs course is that the, the holes that are not on the seaside or the shore are as impressive and has as many views or, or shot making decisions to make as the holes on the seaside. So it really is, I think, more about the holes that's not on the coast that makes the cliff a better golf course. And I think it puts a premium on the greens are also tough, I think. If you place the ball on the wrong side of the green, you're going to three putt, where I think the Lynx doesn't have that, that problem. I think you could two putt from most areas on the green. On the cliffs, I felt that there was more chance that you can three putt. Straight downhill, about 170 yards, but apparently going to play more like 140. A nine iron and I like it. I've hit it perfectly. Oh, how's that hop? Going towards the flag? No, going towards the flag, hey? This green, the 16th, is way slower than any of the other greens here. Yeah, I didn't break, but an easy tap and par. Edwin's playing the 17th now. 
Edwin's tee shot now on the 17th hole. He's going with the wood. Don't need a driver here. So play steeply downhill on the second shot, depending on whether you've caught the ridge or not. I've been rather fortunate for the second day in a row to put my three wood on the green. So for me, it's definitely a three wood and um, be putting for eagle from there. I felt like the course was more challenging, uh, premium on drives, and I found that the rough, you could lose your ball at the cliffs. At Bandon Dunes, I felt like the fairways were much wider. I felt that you have a high handicap that can play there and have more fun. I felt the cliffs is narrower, more premium on off the tee, I felt that the greens were more undulating and more sloping at the cliffs and I felt Bandon Dunes was a fun golf course and a really fun experience but I felt the cliff was a challenge. In the evening a lot of the guys sit and watch the 18th at Cabot Cliffs which I've just managed to birdie to end a much improved day after being beaten up previously although I don't think the winds were savage today tending more towards, say, three clubs.